Hi, I'm Sundata, Yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction, C++ Programming Series. Our topic for today is about declaring array. I have already created the uh, folder lecture 43 and uh, it is the name and also the solution name. That's why we need to go directly to the source files, right click, point to add, and then click new item. And after that, you can click on C++ file.cpp and below we have the name source.cpp. We're going to replace this with sandata underscore comprog2 underscore lecture 43 and then you can click add it is right here right now you will notice this and we can move to the zoom and point to 200 percent now let's do the coding so we have pound include i stream and then we have using namespace std and then we have the integer main open and close parentheses begin curly bracket or curly brace and end curly brace and right here we're going to declare now to declare an array you need also the data type so integer is one of the data type and the array declaration is something like a variable also so we have here well again but it has a delimiter which is a square bracket okay this is how we put a what you so called array so we can initialize array or we can declare array as a number of how many the storage would be in the memory just by typing inside of these square brackets now uh, let's move on and let's continue so we have the for statement and we declare it as an integer also and let's type here pambilang is equal to zero then pambilang is less than 10 and then pambilang plus plus okay so you will notice that uh, we put here exactly the variable name as data type integer variable name pambilang 1 okay and it is less than 10 so we identified pambilang 1 increment so this is a computation of pambilang is equal to pambilang plus 1 okay let's continue by typing lalagyan open and close square bracket is equals to 0 then semicolon now we declare the array right here and you will notice that we considered it has 10 container or 10 uh, what do you call storage and right now because this is uh, considered to be constant so what we need to do is to make this a variable so we're going to type here pambilang okay pambilang 1 so right now since this is a storage 10 and we're going to put 0 to less than 10 and less than 10 is 9 so the storage of the array lalagyan has its value from 0 to 9 and it mentioned here that they are equal to 0 that's why the for statement make it precise okay that it should be 0 to 9 only Okay, let's continue and let's have a display. See out the elements of array 
the elements of array we have here is we have here value and then we have the end line okay then we're going to continue for integer pambilang 2 is uh, equals to 0 so pambilang 2 is less than 10 and we have pambilang 2 is uh, an increment okay so let's put here the close parenthesis the display of uh, spaces okay of the content of the storage pambilang 2 set with 13 and we have the variable nilagyan open and close parenthesis we can put here so pambilang 2 and uh, we're going to put end line and we're going to go back it to in the integer main okay now you will notice that the set w is not included in the iostream.h that's why we're going to add here okay pound include iomanip because it is a manipulation that's why look at this so it was been removed so the the code set w is inside of the io manipulation input output manipulation okay so this is one of the uh, header files that is stands for input output manipulation okay uh, because we manipulate these spaces right here by using set with okay set w set with so uh, let's uh, check this out so that we can identify what will be the output of this so by clicking debug and start without debugging okay here's the output okay so we have the elements of array and uh, it should be 0 to 9 we are correct for the for statement but the value is 0 all of them are 0 right here okay so to to make it more precise so we have 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22, 25 so let's make this 25 okay 25 on the set w that is the width okay so let's check it out and let's check if it is changing the display of the zero value that's it okay so it is perfect and you already know what is the set w command it is inside of the io manipulation and also uh, what you so called array how to use array in c++ that's all for today thank you and good